Hello, in this week's recap, stocks have a mixed reaction to earnings, economic data, and a potential stimulus. Life is too short to worry about what the next headline could do to your life savings. Hi, my name is Eric Hagan, and I keep my thumb on the pulse of the economy and the markets so my clients can focus on the things that are actually important to them. Thank you for joining me the next few minutes on today's weekly economic video update. Stocks were mixed last week amid a busy week of earnings, some troubling economic data, and seemingly little progress on a new fiscal stimulus package. The Dow Jones Industrials Average slipped 0.16%, while the Standard & Poor's 500 increased by 1.73%. The NASDAQ Composite Index surged 3.69% for the week, and the MSCI EFI Index, which tracks developed stock markets overseas, dipped 0.75%. Stocks rode a roller coaster last week, reacting to a conflicting stream of corporate events and economic data. Investors were optimistic on Monday about the ability of mega cap technology companies to thrive in an uncertain economy, but worried on Tuesday about pending congressional testimony involving the CEOs of these firms. On the economic front, a strong June durable goods orders report on Monday bolstered investor sentiment, but the optimism faded on a disappointed, disappointing jobless claims number and a troubling second quarter GDP number that, while anticipated, was a bit unsettling. Following some exceptional earnings results from the mega cap technology companies, stocks managed to rally in the final hour of trading on Friday. Since peaking in mid-March, the U.S. dollar has dropped nearly 9%. Some of the potential beneficiaries of a weak dollar are global American businesses whose products and services become less expensive in overseas markets. Conversely, international companies may suffer lower sales in the U.S as their products become more expensive. It's a mixed bag of potential outcomes, but Wall Street has become more and more focused on the dollar's trajectory. And a final thought for you here this Monday, August has historically been a particularly volatile month. For instance, in 2019, last year, the S&P 500 posted moves of more than 1% in 22 trading days that month. Now, one of the possible reasons is that many traders are away on vacation, resulting in light volume, which may amplify market volatility. But this year, it's uncertain whether traders will be away on vacation due to the pandemic. Should markets become volatile in the weeks ahead, investors may want to remind themselves of the seasonal trends that may be at work. Hey, this is Eric again. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. To learn how I give my clients life savings the attention it deserves, visit me online at www.erichagan.pro. If you'd like to get financially organized, go check out nocostfinancialdashboard.com. And lastly, if you'd like to take control of your 401k at work, visit us over at 401kinvestmentpros.com. Thank you again for your time today. I'll look for you next week.